All right, let's uh, cut across to New York right now. Joining me is our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, who is outside the hotel where Prime Minister Modi is staying in New York. Siddhant, uh, Prime Minister is there. He has met Tesla chief Elon Musk. Musk has said that he is a fan of Prime Minister Modi and that he's confident that Tesla will be in India and will do so as soon as humanly possible. That's quite a significant statement, isn't it? Given that Prime Minister Modi is wooing American companies as the U.S. makes efforts to diversify supply chains beyond China. Well, Rohit, there were several meetings today and all the meetings were significant in every sense possible. But one star-studded meeting was the meeting with Elon Musk and that was something that was perhaps talk of the town, I would say. And uh, his comments, uh, he heaping praises on Indian Prime Minister, saying that he's a fan of Prime Minister Modi, is something uh, that remains the big story of the day uh, as dawn breaks in India. But uh, essentially, uh, when it comes to Elon Musk's uh, view about India, we saw uh, how he talked about India being a, uh, essentially uh, being super uh, excited and how India is a large market uh, for Tesla as well. Tesla is keen to come to India but needs regulatory approvals and this keen that uh, if some kind of uh, 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 initiatives can be taken from the Indian side. Now, one key announcement he made was uh, that he's going to come to India next year. Uh, that, of course, will be a significant move tes uh, th that Tesla's uh, chief and, of course, uh, uh, the person who took over Twitter just few months ago will be in India as something uh, that will be closely watched. But also remember, he wears another hat that is the chief tweet of uh, uh, Twitter and uh, of course he made certain comments to the Indian media as well uh, saying that when it comes to following the rules of a certain country, uh, Twitter will follow that. Now that is a significant uh, comment by uh, him and he said that uh, America cannot be the world and that is also essentially he's saying that he will be following local rules, something that India has been pressing on various social uh, media giants with his Facebook, Twitter. In fact, we saw uh, that massive tiff between India and Twitter uh, just a few months ago and now this statement coming is uh, uh, something that uh, many will be reading carefully. Yes, uh, Molly Gambhir also joining us uh, from New York. Uh, Molly, various words are being used to describe the significance of Prime Minister Modi's state visit to the United States, a milestone, a turning point. It's Prime Minister Modi's first state visit. Give us a sense of the excitement and the expectations from this visit. Absolutely, Rohit. Uh, you know, the series of uh, statements that have been issued uh, by officials on both sides and the level of engagement which has only uh, increased in the run-up to this visit is indicative itself of the emphasis that the two sides are laying on this relationship and the deepening of this relationship. Of course, the expectations uh, are high on both sides uh, when it comes to uh, the multifaceted uh, uh, the deliverables uh, especially uh, focusing on defense cooperation and technology and sharing of technology being a very crucial element uh, because the very fact that uh We've had statements from Jake Sullivan, uh, also Lloyd Austin, talking about how this is a transformative moment for India and the United States, also talking about how uh, the key deliverables from this visit are not just the bullet points on paper, but overall about lifting of barriers and how the shedding of technology and I said essentially uh, the initiative on critical and emerging technology will ensure that India and the US become uh, trusted technology partners and uh, uh, just look at the uh, way in which uh, the India uh, US partnership has only grown by leaps and bounds uh, in the past decade and uh, what a transformative uh, phase it has really been for the uh, two sides but also looking at how it's important for both sides to uh, iron out the issues uh, that uh, that have been coming up uh, time and again uh, so which is why the lifting of the of these bureaucratic barriers uh, has been uh, a crucial highlight and which is why uh, the uh, kind of uh, statements that have been made by leaders from both sides uh, have been significant but uh, the excitement levels also among the Indian Americans have been only escalating uh, given the fact that uh, they've been uh, looking forward to the Indian Prime Minister's maiden state visit uh, this is uh, uh, his sixth visit 
visit for the first time. This is a state visit, which is the highest ranked visit according to diplomatic protocols and the highest expression of friendly bilateral ties. And uh, they want to leave no stone unturned to try and uh, extend that warmest welcome to the leader. Also, the rolling out of the red carpet at the White House will be according uh, to the Indian leader when he makes his way for the state dinner. Also, the series of engagements, because uh, just look at what all the Indian Prime Minister will be covering in just a, a, a very short visit that this will be. Uh, meeting business delegates, also addressing the uh, joint session of the US Congress. There will also be the addressing of the Indian diaspora. Of course, the uh, bilateral meeting with US President Joe Biden. And before that, uh, the uh, International Yoga Day celebrations, for which, by the way, the state just said we were inside the UN headquarters today, uh, just a few hours ago, looking at the preparations that are underway in full swing. We also spoke with uh, the UNGA president who uh, talked about how he's proud to be a part of these celebrations. His daughter, by the way, is uh, a yoga practitioner herself. And uh, just how India's soft power is at full display through this Yoga Day event as well and how uh, there will be uh, eminent personalities from 180 countries, Rohit. And the Indian Prime Minister in this unprecedented event will be leading the celebrations at the UN headquarters. That, it, that in itself is a strong message. Interesting. Uh, uh, Siddhant, uh, Molly was talking about the deliverables from that visit. Let's talk a little more about that. Uh, you know, there is a GE jet engines deal. There is a drone deal uh, that is expected to be signed between the two countries. Tell us about the significance of those and the importance that uh, th those deals have in this bilateral relationship. Well, defence tops the uh, the outcomes from this visit. Uh, it's now an open secret when it comes to the Predator drone deal and also the GE jet manufacturing deal. It has been talked about for a long time, but essentially the message from the governments of India and the US is that both countries are willing to work on defense and it has a larger strategic goal. One of course is co-production. India has its own Make in India initiative. India wants manufacturing of defense equipments in uh, the country and India is focusing on that. In fact, uh, one thing that perhaps many do not know is uh, America is one of the largest importers of Indian defense equipment, the small defense equipment basically uh, and India has been doing that. So America is a market for India and India is also focusing on Africa as well uh, as we have seen in the past. The second of course is uh, when it comes to India-Russia relationship. Now, uh, it's also known that India is uh, dependent on Russia uh, when it comes to its defense imports. Uh, and now the Americans are keen that India should be weaned away from that. And uh, that is why they are engaging with the Indians. Uh, uh, because as long as India is engaging with Russia on the defense partnership, India will not be very anti-Russia. Of course, there is a strong relationship between New Delhi and uh, Kremlin in terms of the historic relationship. It's a time-tested relationship. But Americans perhaps won't be keen on that. India, of course, has good relationship with both Washington and Moscow. It will continue to do so. But the larger message from both sides in terms of defense is that they are willing to work with each other in several aspects possible. And we will see uh, a visible manifestation of that when leaders of both India and the United States meet in Washington in just almost, I can say, less than 24 hours. Remember, uh, this time, that's the time here, Eastern Standard Time, uh, the Indian Prime Minister will be uh, hosted by the US President Joe Biden uh, for a private dinner uh, that is on Wednesday uh, evening uh, local time. Interesting. Uh, Molly, you know, there are strategic interests and there are also business interests. You know, uh, that's also significant uh, because Prime Minister Modi has said that he will be discussing with CEOs opportunities to elevate trade and investment relationship. Get, tell us about the importance of that. Indeed, and strengthening uh, business ties, uh, Rohit, has uh, always been uh, a crucial part of the agenda. Uh, even before uh, we, uh, you know, had uh, statements from the U.S. officials and the Indian officials talking about what all uh, is expected from this visit, uh, it is a known fact that uh, uh, building better business ties between the two sides has been something that uh, both the countries are very much interested in, given the potential, also the opportunities that lie ahead in terms of uh, the uh, growing 
uh, business interest and the mutual interest uh, in that direction. In fact, uh, uh, just uh, speaking about uh, the very fact that the Indian Prime Minister will be engaging with those business delegates uh, is, uh, uh, you know, indicative enough of the emphasis that uh, India is also laying on uh, uh, forging closer business ties and how this also is a step in the direction of inviting uh, uh, further uh, investment. It's also uh, about projecting India as uh, the next destination uh, for uh, these uh, business interests as well. And the very fact that uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, entrepreneurs like Elon Musk making the kind of statements that they have talking about the popularity of the Indian Prime Minister and uh, why this is a significant visit and making that outreach really uh, tells you about how India has placed itself in a very strong position on the global map as far as business opportunities and forging those closer uh, business to business ties uh, is concerned and we will of course see uh, more of that happening over the next uh, uh, 48 to 72 hours when the Indian Prime Minister uh, will be making his way to Washington DC. All right, Molly and Siddhant, you've had a long day. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us with those details and analysis.